Hello everyone, this is Tim, and this is your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for Monday, August 12th through Sunday, August 18th. This week, I'm going to be using the Saints and Angels Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue. I must tell you before we get moving on with this reading that intuitively, I honestly feel that this is going to be a week of the nose to the grindstone. Whatever that we've been procrastinating comes to surface this week, and the angels guide us to get busy and get uh, with the program, so to speak, of where we're supposed to be and where we're uh, needing to be headed. So with that in mind, I know just this weekend as I've been channeling, they keep pushing me to keep pressing forward and go faster and faster with where I'm at and what I'm doing. And although I may sometimes have fearful doubts about that, I release those doubts. And knowing that if they feel that I should be moving at a faster rate, then I trust that. And you should too, with whatever your goals are that you're trying to manifest, or whether it be a new home or a job or a career, just trust and know that they have your that you have uh, the support in them. So let's get with the reading, and I'm going to be using again the Saints and Angels Oracle cards. And then, as an added bonus, I'm going to be using this deck here. I uh, just got these. These are the Angelic Messenger cards. So we'll use these as a wild card, so to speak, for the reading. So we'll go ahead and get started. Let me move this back. And as always, when I'm shuffling the cards, for those of you new to this channel, I'm just asking for guidance of what I need to know to share with all of you for the upcoming week. And we will go with this one. This one for the middle. That one here. Okay. So the first part of the week to begin with is the card Marriage. And this is St. Catherine. And what I'm noticing here is that she's looking at the red color in the garment that she's wearing. She also has over here a blue. So this is balance, is the first uh, feeling that I'm getting with this. And this may actually be involved for those of you who are involved uh, with a partner. Um, if you're married, this is definitely your card. Uh, any of you that may be in a relationship, this is also for you. But this is uh, putting your energy into your marriage and making sure that there's a balance. Because I feel that there's choices that need to be made with this. It's either this or that. And this is also where balance comes into play uh, with what I'm feeling with this. But they guide me to tell you to put efforts into your marriage at the beginning part of this week and to be with the person that you are involved with, spending more time with them. Spend more time talking because I also hear communicate as well. So this is um, airing out anything that needs to be aired out, uh, discussing any issues that you may have been repressing, but having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is also uh, a message that's coming through as well. But this allows you to be able to become more at peace with your partner, your life partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. And those of you who are not in a relationship, this actually could be the uh, meeting of someone new for you this week. But I also know that with this card, marriage is also the card of commitment, 
So again, with what I was feeling earlier uh, this weekend, this is about committing to your purpose, your goals, those issues at hand that you've been working towards. So this is um, moving forward and really becoming more focused on what it is that you're wanting to manifest, but making sure that there is a balance, not too much, not too little. So that's what I feel for this card here. And as we move into the middle part of the week, we are given guidance from St. Therese, which is steady progress. And it shows that as you honor your commitments and as you honor your honest communication with your life partner, husband, wives, and so forth, we begin to make steady progress. There could be or could have been issues that may have been at a standstill that now is able to be moved forward as a result of the open communication and spending more time. So this is a wonderful feeling and helps you to be able to keep more focus, uh, letting go of any uh, guilt or any areas that you've been repressing will help you to be able to be more open and speak from your heart. They also come through with, as we begin to make this steady progress, the final card of the week is reward and your guardian angel comes through. And this is a message. Uh, we have a beautiful white dove here. And you notice the signs you might find, for example, feathers, coins. That's also coins are departed loved ones. Uh, those are the signs that you have a departed soul on the other side that is working with you and guarding over you. Feathers, as I stated, are your angel's way of letting you know that they are with you and that they're uh, working with you along any avenue that you are pursuing or whatever you're feeling or thinking. But this commitment and making this steady progress finally brings us the wonderful rewards that we are seeking and we are given those rewards. And there's also um, being open and being receptive to receive these rewards. So don't be afraid to receive this week as well as what I'm also hearing with this. And I feel also with reward that this is, you know, taking it easy this upcoming weekend. And the two of you even going on um, a moonlit walk someplace or spending time this weekend, a getaway. And again, if we aren't involved with an individual, this is just your own personal reward and self-satisfaction of knowing that you are moving in the right direction and that spirit does have your best interests as heart, at heart. And the more that we honor that and the more that we trust, the more we begin to notice those signs. Now, I want to see what the angelic messenger cards would like to share with us for this week. to pick this one here. <laughs> I love that. See, notice the signs. This card says, if I can put this up here without my camera going out of focus, but it says commitment. And that goes right along with our marriage card. So spirit once again is coming through and saying, commit to your purpose. Commit to uh, your ideas the path that you're on and willingly accept the spirit of your life purpose, even if it doesn't have a physical form as of yet. So this could be birthing uh, creation uh, ideas that may not have manifested as of yet, but just trusting and knowing that as we give our full faith, 
over to spirit that we begin to see all of this take a life and life form. So I really like this. It's uh, allowing you to really be able to see uh, all of the wonderful gifts that are coming through for this week. You know, really uh, giving your full attention toward all of the goals at hand of what you're wanting to manifest. So be committed this week. And as you're committed, you begin to see that steady progress and you begin to enjoy the rewards of all of our efforts. Have a beautiful week, everyone, and I will talk to you next week. Bye now.